name is Tim Routledge. I'm a light designer for concerts, broadcast and event. Basically means that I flash lights at pop stars for a living. I've split my time between broadcast, so TV shows, so I'm a light designer for The X Factor, and then I also do big pop shows. Just finished the Sam Smith tour, I work for people like Beyonce, lots of different people, whoever wants me. So I joined the youth theatre for a little while, about a year or so, and then when I was about 12, I think I rejoined properly and carried on all the way through until I hit puberty and really didn't want to do that anymore. So I decided to work backstage and do lighting. One of the first shows I did at youth theatre, when Jane was kind of dabbling at doing more site-specific stuff, and I remember lighting that as kind of one of the first shows I did at youth theatre and being given the responsibility to light a show. The biggest highlight was I was lucky enough to go to the Soviet Union I'd never really been abroad before, 30 years ago in Red Square and then I went there last year to do another project and I got a picture of me standing in exactly the same place 30 years later, which was kind of cool. I was really shy when I was a young lad and I guess CYT has helped me prepare me for what was to come in terms of developing my kind of personality and being able to be in situations that I'm not accustomed to. But what it did do was prepare me for some of the skills that I needed, going to drama school and doing three-year degree in lighting and stage management and things. So all of that stuff is completely transferable and then built me on to the next part, moving on to my career. Two years ago, I got a call in the middle of the night, designed Beyonce's new tour. I said, yeah, I'd be interested, and about 36 hours later, I got a call saying you need to be on a plane tomorrow to go to LA to meet her, become her new lighting designer, do her Super Bowl performance, and then the tour. I'm doing the X Factor again this year, which I really enjoy, because it might not be the coolest show on TV anymore, but it's kind of the hardest live telly show there is. It's been like 100 miles an hour, especially for the last decade, has been with Olympics and things like that. They say it's 5% lighting and 95% politics because I have to deal with all these people and artist management and things like that. You can't light a massive show for, you know, 100,000 people in the stadium unless you can operate a very, very small show on the most basic of decks. It all comes back to the basic skills that I learned by lighting shows at CYT. I guess the weirdest thing is I'm, I always think of myself as this young lad from Wolverhampton who doesn't come from any of that, this world of money and glamour and you have to log all those experiences and just enjoy them all, act normal and be normal and just be you.